Right, so today we're going to have a really good in-depth look at the effects panel in Adobe InDesign. Now you may have used this before, but there are some more advanced ways we can use it. Okay, so in terms of just applying an effect to an image, it's pretty straightforward. So you may have done this before. Click on the image. I come to my effects panel, list of all my effects here. Okay, I'm not going to go through all these effects because really you can click on them, see what they do and have a little play around with them yourself. But if I click on drop shadow, I get a drop shadow. And within the panel now, I can change the angle of it, uh, the distance of it, and you can generally play around with it, okay? And it's the same with all these other effects. I click OK, and then if I want to remove it, I can drag it down in the waste basket. Now, what I want to show you, though, is a much more advanced way of using this by using this, these little menus under here, okay? And also using the opacity slightly different. So we've got our opacity, so I could bring my opacity down. I can stick my bit of text on top like that okay which looks okay but we're going to do this much much better now okay so let's turn this opacity back to 100 on our image now i'm going to click on my text frame that i've got on top okay so if i just apply opacity to this immediately obviously the whole thing is going to start to disappear but by coming under here you can see this basically lists every single part of this particular frame that i've got selected okay so i've got the stroke I've got the fill, which is this fill color, and I've also got the text, okay? Now, by pinpointing each one of these, so let's say click on the fill, and then I change the opacity, you can see it's just changing the opacity of the fill color and not the text, okay? So the text is still visible. Now, the same with all the effects. These can be applied to these individual elements as well. So if I just choose the frame and apply a drop shadow, the drop shadow will just appear around the outside of the frame. But if I click on the text and then apply a drop shadow, you can see the drop shadow has now been applied to the actual text inside inside the frame. So let's click OK and turn that off. So you can see you get a much better effect. So by using this effects panel, and if you may have seen these listed before, but by pinpointing each of these areas so I've got the fill at 36% and I've got the text with a drop shadow but obviously there's lots more variations you can do and it opens up a whole new window of effects if you start pinpointing these down here more accurately.